magic here at, well, how should I say this? This is actually the eChargerSystems.com new home base or world headquarters uh, located downtown Wichita, Kansas. 10,000 square foot building, barrel ceiling, it's got it all. We're in the middle of actually setting up and I begged them to let me go in here and start shooting uh, what I consider the most important video. We've been asked, uh, well, since the Humvee and the Hummer come into Marketplace, um, you know, for people wanted to, to, to be able to do their own uh, conversion, of course, we didn't have the luxury at that time, but uh, here in the last year, H-Line Conversions decided, you know what, let's go ahead and offer the, a kit so that people can convert their Humvee or their H1 Hummer or their H2 Hummer or anything Hummer to the Duramax with the Allison transmission, selectable 4 high, 2 high, transfer case, 263 XND, all that good stuff. But more importantly is to offer a kit that they can do and install the conversion themselves. And what we decided to do is to actually shoot video on how to just do this conversion because if you bought the kits you wouldn't know how to do it you know you could figure it out or you can call us two million times and believe me we've had the two million time call so we decided to shoot video and it's free we want everybody out there doing these conversions and you know of course anybody can go out and buy a wrecked or a used drivetrain and stuff like that on a wrecked vehicle um, we do offer those through hline conversions Dot com website um, but more importantly we do offer the actual pieces and components that you might need um, to do that conversion we offer them individually as well as a complete package of all the parts and the pieces and even the drivetrain included if you need it so this is step one of the Duramax uh, conversion for the Humvee or Duramax swap for the Humvee so at this point we've went ahead and saved the luxury or saved everybody the luxury of watching us undo every bolt and nut and stuff like that so you know there are certain things that you want to take off to get the body off and you know this has nothing really to do with the conversion but we just thought we would talk about it to kind of simplify it for those people that were a little nervous on being able to actually even do anything at all in the Humvee it's very very simple mechanics I mean this thing is all mechanical there's no electronics on it. it's all nut and bolt so, you know, some of the items that you have to do, of course, is, and I always like to do this anyways, is take the uh, power, or the, the uh, master cylinder loose from what they call the hydro boost. You could take the lines loose, but then you got to bleed all the brakes and stuff. So there's no sense in, you know, undoing the lines from the master cylinder. We can just take two bolts off and just let this thing float. You see the guys zip tied it up, whatever, right there. Second thing you're going to do, is disconnect the uh, what they call the hydro boost. It's a hydraulic, uh, uh, you know, basically uh, a brake system. Um, and you know, just take the lines off. There's a couple lines here and one here going back to the motor. We're trying to separate the motor, or the motor and the frame from the body at this point in time. So that's step two. Of course, step three. Take the hood off. Get it out of the way. Just just a couple pins. You don't have to undo these bolts. You can just slide the pins out. You know, take the hood prop off get the hood out of the way so that you can dig in and do some stuff. Um, electronics, pretty simple on the Humvee. You know, you've got this connection up here for the hood that runs along the frame. You know, undo it from the hood and then pull it away from the frame. Just flip it up here, it'll be out of the way and, and uh, most likely you'll probably be changing that or you can still use it if you want to, but we'll talk about that later. Um, the main harness from the engine comes in here and uh, since I didn't take this apart and every Humvee is different, oh I see it right here. So you have what they call the bullet connectors um, or whatever the fancy name is but you know basically you're unscrewing that, popping that off, laying it over here. You have this gizmo, I'm not really sure what it's, uh, well yeah I, I should talk about it but it's a hydraulic drive for the fan clutch and stuff like that. You just pull it out of its little uh, you know, little hose clamp. <laughs> you know, you get no frills with the Humvee. It's very simple. So hose clamp holding that on there. It's got, you know, plugs in um, to uh, not a bullet connector, but a two pin connector. You know, just flip that over there. 
intake system, you see we pulled that off, just pulled the air box, everything's a couple of big hose clamps on that, actually holding that on, get that air box out of the way, get the, uh, the cooling, uh, the overflow or pressure tank, get that out of the way, um, and then, you know, you can move into like your body bolts. There's uh, six body bolts on the Humvee, they're the big bolts, these bolts are 13 or 15 sixteenths, top and bottom. Knock those out. Three on, or yeah, three. One, two, three. Yep, yep, six total. Uh, knock those out. Get those out of the way. Um, go underneath there. Take the uh, the fuel lines loose at the at the fuel tank. Take the fuel lines loose at the motor at the fuel filter right here. The fuel tank. There is a horizontal uh, vent line that runs through the body underneath there. Of course, you know. You know, like I said, this is just an overview. It's pretty self-explanatory on how to take this off. But if you take that, you know, that horizontal vent line off on both sides, um, you know, then it'll allow the fuel tank not to come up with the body. You know, it's the, it, it, as you pull the body off. I can't think there's any wiring or anything back here. Oh, I know one thing. You have to take the emergency brake cables loose, left and right, um, at the, um, you know, the rear calipers on there and. Of course, disconnect the steering shaft. This is a big one. Disconnect the steering shaft at the gearbox, or it's not going to come off. You know, what's going to be unhappy really if you take it off like that. So, I'm sure there's tons of information on how to pull the body off of a Humvee. But more importantly, we wanted to simplify it and show you that don't be afraid of taking it off. You know. For years, I don't know how many hundreds of employees and people that we've trained and stuff like that that are now out here successful in doing this, um, but they're always nervous at the first time. But I can tell you this much, taking something apart is a whole lot easier than putting something back together. So in the other series to come, we're going to get very, very detailed on how to reassemble the vehicle properly. Taking it apart really, it's just up to like fun. Just have fun with it. Get some buddies over, start taking some stuff off. There's nothing that you can take off um, that's gonna be in vain of taking off, you know, because pretty much you're changing everything, you know, you're changing radiators, you're changing engines, you're changing transmissions, you're changing transfer cases. Or the fuel filler neck, of course, where you put the gas in, there's a couple of screws there. Drop that dude out of your way and you should be good to go. Well, since we're in the middle of actually the renovation for this 10,000 square foot, uh, I can only say built back probably in the 20s or 30s, it's what they call barrel roof ceiling, double barrel actually, <laughs> which is pretty cool, I like guns, but uh, double barrel roof uh, building. Uh, they're actually setting up our, our area that we're gonna be shooting all the videos, so we're on the back side of this right now. We don't have a lift. But you know what? Some people don't have a lift, but they might have a forklift. So we got a forklift over here. We got a driver on it. We got Mark over there. And Mark knows how to lift a body off of a Humvee um, with a forklift. So this is the way we're going to do it. We're going to simplify this today. So bear with us. There might be a few cables, connectors, screaming, yelling, something going on. But uh, we're going to get this off of there. And then we'll talk about the balance of that drivetrain and go from there. So Mark. See if cricket will start.
So there you go, body off. I don't know if you caught that, but uh, that main beam running through that, uh, that Humvee body is like the best roll bar in the world. I mean, we just picked the body up with that. So can you imagine like being in a rollover with that? I mean, it's like being in a NASCAR car. So body's off on the ground. Um, now we're looking at the original six, uh, six, two, six, five, whatever five it might have been in there. You know, it's got the same problematic stuff like brackets busting and, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, anyways, all this goes away. This is the engine, goes away. Transmission, goes away. Transfer case, all this exhaust running through here, get rid of all that stuff. Take the bolts out, there's two bolts on either side of the engine mounts. You got the cross member right here, which sits underneath the transmission. Unbolt the cross member from the transmission. Undo your lines, stuff like that. Get this big old lug out of there. Um, great door stop, or you know, somebody who just wants the original Humvee for some reason. I mean, not that you can drive over 45 miles an hour, take you two days to get to that speed, but uh, you know, there's a home for everything. So get that out of there. Drive shafts. The only thing that you're going to be reusing um, will be um, the towers. Left and right towers that are bolted to the frame, keep those. This cross member, get rid of that. We're going to give you a new one. Rachel and Conversions will supply you that. Um, this fuel tank, you're going to reuse this, but there's a lot of modifications you want to do to this, um, which will be in the videos coming up. Uh, and of course, they'll supply the pieces of whatever to be able to modify that to make that fuel tank work real good for the Duramax. Um, one thing I noticed on this one, looks like it had like maybe a rear disc uh, brake lock setup or whatever. That's fine. You know, it's got the flange on there. You know, the new uh, the new drive shaft um, will be a one piece because the transfer case, the 263 XHD, has a reverse slip yoke style, so you'll not have none of this stuff. And of course, you'll have a big three inch heavy duty drive shaft for that. But uh, uh, let's see up front here. This cooling pack here has seen its day. Just get rid of it. A couple of horizontal bracket bolts, either side and one main bolt. Get that whole thing off of there. You will reuse the fan shroud on it, believe it or not, even though the fan that comes in the kit's like bigger, <laughs> it doesn't set in the fan shroud. That's one of the, one of the things that makes uh, this cooling package that uh, H-Line offers so good. I mean, you can actually pull a trailer behind this at 70 miles an hour and never have to worry about it overheating, unlike the 6.5 or 6.2, or even the 6.5 turbo diesel. If you put a trailer behind them, I mean, they're already hot before you even put a trailer behind them, trying to run highway speeds, if they're capable of doing that, you know, like the civilian version. But uh, with this new improved version, I mean, you have a cooling that works really well. You don't need no crazy jack shaft or whatever, like an Alpha. Um, this works even as good as, if not better, than any of those other things. So. All that stuff you can dispose of, put it on Craigslist or Facebook or wherever book you want to put it. You know, you're not going to need it anymore. You're going to get all kinds of new stuff uh, that we'll be talking about in these next uh, episodes as we go through the, what I call the ultimate Humvee Duramax swap for anybody. Johnny Magic here at, well, it's actually eChargerSystems.com. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.